Hi, so in the previous tutorial, we write a class demo and inside this we write a compare string method which will return true or false on the basis of these two parameters. So in this video, we write a test case for this compare string method. So basically we have two ways. First, we can write a class inside this test and annotate it. And second, you can click on this, right click, new and search for JUnit. Click on JUnit test case, next. So it automatically create a class with name demo test because our class name is demo. And package is same, com.string, com.string. So just change this, the source folder. Click on this, next and finish. Look. It wants JUnit library, so click OK and look, our class is created and JUnit library is also added and our method is also created. So as you can see, it's a simple class with the annotation at the rate test on the one method test and it already import static assert package so if it is static then we can directly use methods by simply using name so first i need to create an object of this demo class now we have various method like assert true so now we use a method assert true as we use starting import so we directly use asset true and then call a method so just right click and run as junit test so as you can see it's green so this means our test is successful so we pass hello and hello so our test is successful so let me just change this so now the two strings are different now right click run gene and you can see test is filled and this bar is like a red we have two types of asset true one is condition and one is string and condition so use this so now we can pass message So as you can see, look, hello and hello fails. So we can get a message in the failing condition, but this message not come if condition is true. So look, it's passed. So message not come. So message comes only when our test cases fail. We have another method assert false, which is just opposite to this one. So like if both are equal, it will fail. See, so in this video, we see at the rate test annotation and asset true and asset false method. So in the next tutorial, we see some more annotations regarding this. So thanks for watching.